I anticipate that Zach's going to change as the series progresses. There are really, for those people who read these kinds of things, there are two types of characters. There's Travis McGee from John D. McDonald, who's one of my heroes, but he's really a static character. You can pick up the Travis McGee novels in any order, and he, he is who he is, and he doesn't grow and change. Whereas a character like Whereas a character like Lucas Davenport in the John Sanford novels, another hero of mine, that character, you really have to go back to the beginning and start reading them, I, I think. And it's one of the things I love to do is somebody tells me about a new series of books and I say, do I have to read them in order? And if they say yes, I know a lot of people will pick it up anywhere. I want to go back to the beginning. I want to see the roots of that character. And certainly for this series, Zach is at such a turning point in his life at the beginning of the novel. He has quit practicing law a couple of years ago. We don't know why at the beginning of the novel. It's revealed through the course of the novel why he's quit practicing law. And he's really kind of lost at the beginning of the book. And in solving the mystery of the murder during the course of the book, he learns a lot about himself and starts to discover a new purpose in life. And that's a journey that's going to continue for him. So he, he is going to change a lot as time goes by. Mm -hmm.